What's up, guys? This is Schism, and we are back on the Attack of the Beast server. Featherman is doing quite well, thank you. Hello, Featherman. Oh, God, stupid portal sounds. Got uh, Server update, you gotta change all this stuff back. Just blew your ears out with portal noise. Portal noise. Alright, guys, so check this out. There was a... I realized that there were a couple things in the Necromancy mod that I missed, so I want to show you guys those before we move on. Um, there are apparently ghouls that I've never seen. It's an enemy. Uh, just never seen them. But there's also a couple of server, I'm um, sorry, minion commands that I do not have access to, which would be sweet if I did. Uh, I tried to do a couple. You type slash minion and then the word friend and then someone on the server, and it will treat that player as a friendly. So I tried to make pungents a friend because we're best friends again. And I tried to make Chimney Swift 11 enemy, but I don't have access to these commands because I'm not an administrator. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if you need to be a mod to be able to do that kind of thing. But uh, it looks like I won't be able to do those. And there's a couple of other, uh, I'm looking at them right now on the wiki. There's a cemetery that will spawn in villages. And there's a necromantic villager um, which spawns in the cemetery. So there's a lot of cool stuff in the mod that I didn't see. There's also, um, where's my scythe? I had the, uh, the bone, or the, I'm sorry, I think it's the blood scythe. It's the necromancy weapon. Where is it? Yeah, right here, the blood scythe. It's a necromancy weapon uh, that lets you take the souls, and it apparently, check this out, can be turned into a bone scythe, which has enhanced attack damage. I'm not sure if that's all it does, but, ooh, oh, I can use the damaged one. If I can use the damaged one, I'm in. Let's actually try that. We need a diamond. We need a hunk of obsidian. What was that? What else? I need a stick. The stick, yes. No, 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 bone. Give me a bone. Where my bones at? Where my dogs at? Where my bones at? Okay, bone, diamond, obsidian. Yes. Scythe. Check. Bone. Diamond. Scythe. Obsidian. Maybe not. <laughs> bone. Diamond. Bone. Scythe. Obsidian. Diamond. Bone. Scythe. Obsidian. Okay, maybe I can't use the damaged one then. Because I know like for, you, for a dispenser, you can't use a damaged bow. So uh, it's probably something similar to that, and that's okay, because I don't think we really need that anymore. It just does more attack damage, so that if we need more souls later um, to make more to make more minions, we'll, uh, we'll make one of those. But for right now, for right now, I've been building, and oh my goodness, the tools. I know you guys saw it. I'm sure you guys have seen it in B-Dub's video. The tools are amazing. They're so good. They are just so good. Okay, so let me show you what I've learned so far. You have the, the carpenter's blocks. That's the mod. So you get, where's the hammer? Where is my hammer? That is my hammer. That is my hammer. Where's the stupid hammer? Here is my hammer. Okay, let's turn back into... Good old schism for a little while. I'm still wearing the bathing suit. I gotta switch back into my normal skin. To my normal clothes. So, okay. Check this out. There's a fossil and archaeology mod. Which looks amazing as everything else. And it's got frozen meat in it. Look at this frozen meat. Plus 7 attack damage. He's got the same attack damage as a diamond sword. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna cook it. And eat it. Cause I'm hungry. Okay, so, so far I've been using, of course, Carpenter's Hammer, Carpenter's Chisel to, uh, to modify some of these things. I'm going to have a door somewhere over here to actually get in, and we're going to have like a pretty, pretty small building here for all of our Beastmaster slash dark, horrible, evil things that we're working on. So, the, it's got this base right now of these blocks. So you guys have seen the carpenter's blocks. You get these things which you make with uh, in a crafting table. You put a plank in the middle and sticks all the way around and you get these carpenter's blocks, right? 
So you guys have all seen this. You put down... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, you filthy animals. Give me a minute. Yeah, right. So you get your cobblestone. Your cobblestone. You pop a block down. You pop and lock. Then you right click it with something and it becomes that texture. Right, that's pretty straightforward, but then you can click it with the chisel and instantly add another texture onto that. Uh, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm turning into B-dubs. Oh, <laughs> turning into B-dubs. That's amazing. I forgot about that. So you can do that. Um, the chisel is amazing. This chisel is what, what mod is this? Chisel mod. You right click, you pop something in, and you say, okay, I want this amazing block. And now you have that amazing block. And then you can do amazing things with it, with the hammer. I don't really get how what the how this does what it does yet, but yeah. And you add more texture to it, and you're like, oh my god, it's amazing. So that's pretty much it. So Featherman and I will be working on this house. Um, and I'm not going to do that on camera with you guys, I'm going to do that off camera, because, you know, it's a little boring, but this, this is my farm, and it stinks, <laughs> and I'm growing cotton, what is that, is that cotton, yeah, you get, this is so weird, it turns, the cotton plants turn into white redstone lamps, plants, and then when you, when you punch them, you get the cotton off them. So you have three cotton, I punch this one, and I have four cotton. And then if you bust them up, you get two seeds for every one. So it's a pretty easy way to quickly increase, and we'll probably have to create a farm somewhere. Like a legit farm, you know. Um, but they're interesting plants, and there's a ton of those, like, Natura mod, Natura mod uh, plants that get added. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff. But I want to turn back into the bat for a second. I go bat. Once you go back, you don't go back. Go back into the bat, and we're gonna go ow. We're gonna come over here, and this, this is cool, right? Because I've been doing some of the chisel to change the texture. So I got some cool, uh, cool stuff going on over here. And then I did this with the chisel. I right clicked with the other chisel, put these guys in, and got this sick block. And once you have a carpenter block, so I put the carpenter's blocks down, and then I right clicked with either the normal cobblestone or the ash stone to get these, like this texture, and then this texture. And then I right clicked on some of the blocks again with that new cobblestone I just made, and it puts these like hatches down on top of it, which is so sick, right? And it looks like a micro block on top, but it's really just the carpenter block that got laid on top of the other, uh, uh, yeah, like actual carpenter block. So it looks amazing. And we're going to be doing this. This is going to be kind of like a little spire here. It's going to go up probably this high. And the gravestone, the gravestone is probably going to go right on top. Because this building here is going to be where I'm going to put the, uh, the, what is it? The summoning altar, which I broke, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's gone. So the summoning altar is going to go here. Um, and let's see, let me get some more of these guys. Yeah, summoning altar is going to go in here. Gravestone, this gravestone, it's going to go right on top, which is going to be so sick. I'm going to see if I can find more of those in the nether because they're amazing. Um, and okay, so what are that? Where's the food? The food! Steaks. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the, uh, the frozen, the frozen meat, which acts as a horrible bludgeoning tool, turns into a steak, which the little bat will eat. Do you see the bat eat when he eats? Oh, he does eat. The bat's so, so cute and amazing. I love it. Okay. It's so amazing. So the other thing that we're going to be uh, working on today, which I wanted to show you guys, is amazing. It's so, so good. I did a bunch of, uh, of caving at one point. And I found things. I found things. I found the dragon eggs. I found them. Oh, 
Oh, we're taking one dragon egg, and I have two saddles, and we're going to be best friends, me and the dragon. Best buds. Uh, I found lots of fossils, lots of skulls. Apparently, you can turn the skulls into bones or bone meal, which I am a fan of. Skull stick, what's that do? I don't know. Um, what else did I find? Safari net. Yeah, we're going to need to capture some mobs. Maybe I'll capture the dragon. Yes. Capture the dragon. Oh, capture the dragon. Oh, 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 okay. Thinking about things. Thinking about things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. It might be amazing. It might be amazing. All right. So, we're going to take this dragon egg and, ooh, nope. Chest the old Chesterfield. Get back in here. Um, I do not know anything about the dragon eggs, so, but we're going to take this guy, right? There's a great area. Where is it? Right over here. Nice big area. Like a nice big enclosed area, um, for him. We're going to build a little, uh, a little thing over here. Um, what can we make it out of? I think we'll make it out of some stone, but then we'll pop some. I think we'll pop some nice little. Uh... Yeah, we have some cobblestone. We have some carpenter's block. Oh, we're doing this right now, right now. Now I saw in B Dub's vid. He I didn't watch the whole thing, but he popped down. I think it was a. F... What did he do? A five by five. But I'm gonna put a one in the middle, so that the. Uh... One, two, three. Oh, that's cool. But I'm going to pop... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You idiots. Just give me a minute to myself. <laughs> Take the ash stone. Pop it up. Plug it in, plug it in. One, two, three. Okay, cool, yeah. So I'm going to boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And I think I'm going to do what my hammer at. Oh, it looks like right, oh, dead center. That's what it is. That's cool. Okay, I got it. Boom, boom. Just hit a dead center. That one did. <laughs> okay. Sometimes they disappear, I guess. Okay. Don't disappear. Yep, you're gone. Half of you gone. Half of you's back. You're all back. Okay. So that one disappeared and that one disappeared. Go back down. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to do this sweet texture. Oop. I think the only way to fix this, if you put another, if you put one of those carpenter block caps on, I think the only way is to break and fix. Okay. Dude, why is, why, why? No, do not do. Go, go and be, oh, I'm holding shift, that's why. I guess if you hold shift, it ignores the, uh, the carpenter block that's there and just places it right on top of it yep that's exactly what happens we are so smart okay now let's see what's the softest thing i have because look this poor little dragon baby gets born in a volcano biome so it's gonna be a little maybe a little agitated when he comes to so what's the softest thing i own we're going to put something real soft down for him. Maybe some grass. Maybe some moss. I don't think I have any grass. Let's see. Yeah, I have nothing soft. Let's put some moss down on top. Yeah. Dirt and then moss. Dirt. Dirt and then moss. 
Let's ride. He oh, I better not be a bat when he come when he gets born, or else he'll think a bat is his daddy. Uh uh, I will be your daddy. I will be your daddy, baby. Get rid of that. I don't even want a fake dirt. I want some real dirt for my baby. And moss right on top. Oh, you stinking moss. You can't go on. Hang on. What can I put down? What is that skeleton wearing? I hate these hats. Oh, some of the hats just look horrible, man. Get back in here. Moss, what's soft? Someone show me something soft. Oh, man. Maybe he'll just have to be born on a nice, hard thing, and he'll just have to get used to it. He is a dragon, so you might not care, you know? Yeah. You all know I tried, though. You all saw me try to provide my baby. Wool. Nice, big, soft hunk of wool. Now, when he comes out, I know that they grow to the size of the ender dragon, but they don't come out that big, right? They don't, like, come out ender dragon size, do they? Uh, ooh, ooh, I hate you. I hate you, baby. I hate you, baby. You don't play with my son. <laughs> you don't play with my son. Okay. I'm about to be a father. Mm. Ah, what'd I do? Oh, I right-clicked it. Okay. Which, it's still there, right? Uh, let me double-check. I've made a terrible mistake. I have made a terrible mistake. I put another egg down because I thought the other one disappeared. But I think I punched it or something. I think I screwed it up like the ender egg screws up and it disappeared. But I'm pretty sure the ender egg's still right here. On account of all those particles. Um... We might be having twins. We might be having twins, guys. This could be... This could be real bad. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what the dragons do. I don't know if they're mean at first. I don't know anything. But there's going to be two of them. So, whatever they are. Whatever they are, it will be twice as good or twice as bad. Um, okay. Yeah, who knows, really? Who knows? Who knows what this means? <laughs> I do not know. Um, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, maybe the dragon will be invisible since the egg's invisible. Oh, that'd be so sweet, invisible dragon. Ooh, but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe visible dragon. Maybe two visible dragons. Yeah, so we're going to check in on these guys because I don't know how long they take to hatch or what they want when they're born or <laughs> will they imprint on me if I'm a bat? <laughs> will I be the bat dad? I'll be the best dad in the world, guys. It's just that I'm just a tiny little bat. And I can't hold you. <laughs> no, I'll become a big, I'll become a big meaty ghast. I'll take care of them. Okay. Dude, nitro creepers, by the way, in the nether. The, the worst thing, because they come up to you, they're red creepers, and they come up to you and pretend that Featherman is me, and I'm a nitro creeper. Normal creeper does this. Normal creeper does... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nitro creeper does this. They give you no warning. They just explode. They're horrible, dude. They're so bad. I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay. So, <laughs> rant. Rant over. Doorway going to go here. All right. And since we're here, let's throw our door together for the door. I'm so nervous about these dragons. <laughs> there's going to be it's going to be real bad. There's going to be dragons all over the place. What kind of door do we want? These doors are so amazing. That door, obviously. Oh, door handle on either side. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. That's amazing. Oh. Oh, it's so good. 
Let's get this texture on that. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that texture on it. So yeah, we're gonna dig out the floor. We're gonna put that uh this really nice wood down from the chisel mod. This is normal spruce planks that I put into the chisel and got these really sweet looking ones. So we'll be doing more of that. Um and then we're probably gonna do a little bit of micro blocking all the way around, but not a ton. We'll probably do some micro blocks here just to cover these gaps with something that's not really large. Um and then we'll probably maybe do some like decoration on the inside, because the inside, the outside rather, is it meets the ground and you don't really see a lot of this. But on the inside, the floor is down a step, so you do see all this brick in here, which is gonna look sweet, but uh it's not gonna it, I wanna do a little bit of ornamentation. No. Ornam ornament ornamation? Ornament ornamenting. Featherman! Featherman! Is it ornamentation? Oh, ornamation. It's not ornamation. I know that. <laughs> Which head do I talk to? Do I talk to you? <laughs> or do I talk? I think I talk to the chicken head, right? The chicken head is the one that moves. And someone said he's right-handed in the comments. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I understand what your comment means. You mean, he means he's right-handed, you know? Because obviously, look at his left hand, look at his right hand. Ooh. Kids show. Kids show. Um, okay. So let's go check on the dragons again. Oh, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be so bad. Dragon egg still there. Other brother dragon egg still there. Gliss, yo, it's Gliss. I keep, I don't know why, but I want to say Glissandra every time he comes on, but I'm not gonna do it because that's. Not exactly, not exactly very manly. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing next is uh, now that we have this general base, I'll build more of this off camera. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, probably going to be doing a farm. There's a moor over here, a moor biome. Some moor, it's a moor, yeah. Um, we might even clear a path. We're either be going to be building the farm over here, or we're going to purge a little bit of the, uh, the forest over here. Probably this area. You know, I'll probably just expand the farm over here. Because I hate, oh, I hate these stupid witches. But this area over here is probably going to get a little, uh, a little farm in it right next to the, right next to the old necromancy area. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, I have a plan here. The one thing I wanted to, to test out before we retire is the safari net, right? Safari, oh, there's a safari net single use. Is there a reusable one? Safari net single use, safari net reusable. That's a Gas tier with four ender balls. Jeez. Jeez. Regular safari net. It's actually not super tough to make. I don't know what our our slime situation is though. I know that Chimney was looking for slimes forever and he couldn't find them. Oh, do I need a safari net launcher? Oh, I might. Oh, that's easy. No, it's not. Plastic sheets. Raw plastic. Melt rubber bar. Okay, let me go see if I can knock this out real quick, because I want to try, try this uh, thing. I can't just throw this, right? No, I need to launch it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, Safari Net Launcher. Sneak click to change mode. We got it. All right, so how do we do this thing? Change to capture mode, change to release mode. Okay, capture, release, capture, release. Okay, cool. So I can right click it, the ball shoots out. If it doesn't capture, ooh, I get it back. Okay, awesome. So let's go capture, let's go capture something. This is gonna be amazing. Featherman, do you wanna be captured? Can I capture Featherman? I don't know. Uh, I don't wanna capture him if I'm gonna screw something up and I won't get him back. Since we're talking about it, let's go check in on 
Little baby dragon, okay. Little baby dragon and little baby brother, little baby invisible brother still are still there. We need to go find a mob. Let's go find a mob to capture. Oh, this is going to be so sweet. Okay, hang on. Hello, mobs. Hello, Bob the mob. Where are you? Uh, no mobs. Everyone cleared out. Schism got the safari gun. Everyone clear out. Skeleton. Now nah, we don't want a skeleton. Ah, uh, yeah, man, do we? I don't know. Yeah, we'll try. We got more safari balls. Where are you? Okay, skeleton. Get captured. <gasps> oh, he's in. Safari. Safari net skeleton. Oh, he's in it. He's in it. Oh, Enderman. Damn. Wait, can I re okay. So, okay, Safari net single use. We know he's in here. Let's what happens if we shoot this thing again? We can't. We can sneak click set it to release mode. Let's just practice with it so we know make sure we know how to use it. Okay. Well, you know what? Before we do that, what happens if I just use the use the ball? Can I throw the ball? Yes. Okay. And he pops back out. Okay. So that's pretty sweet. And it consumed the ball. Okay, cool. We have another ball. Let's go check and see if we can get that Enderman. Because Enderman, if we can make some sort of mob farm. Actually, I don't know how we would make a mob farm with a single Enderman. But I'm pretty sure I want one. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty positive. Nope. That I want an Enderman. Yes, I do. <laughs> the fact that I can do it means I do want it. Let's go. Let's go. Safari net. Etherman still be here. Ooh, Etherman. No. Featherman. Enderman. <laughs> Enderman still be here. Yes. Oh. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's in here. Oh, it's an Enderman. Oh, he's in here. That's amazing. That's so good. That, and that is how we end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. It always helps us out. And we will be back with more Attack of the B Team later on. This mod is amazing, and I hope you guys are having as much fun watching as I am playing. We'll be back later. See ya.